I fell in love with NASCAR and Caterpillar, I guess, at the same time. I mean, really, I love the machines, and then I love NASCAR, and then I couldn't go out and buy, obviously, a bulldozer 11 years old. I couldn't go, I couldn't go racing at the time, so this was the best way to put all that together. So you've got Caterpillar, the machine, and NASCAR, and you combine, and this is what happened. My father took me to Caterpillar dealership after Caterpillar dealership, and me climbing up on the tractors. Uh, they took me to my first race. Everything's unique. Everything's got a story. Sheet metal uh, from several types of different cars over 20 years worth. Some of it kind of gets torn off the car. Uh, some of it they throw it, they throw it away if, it, if the car gets in a crash or anything like that. If NASCAR changes the body style of the car, um, the teams really don't need the sheet metal off that car anymore. So they're going to get rid of it because they're not going to reuse it. So that's, that, that's a good thing for me when NASCAR changes the body style. What Caterpillar did is they took pieces from several different cars and several different races throughout multiple years and they just kind of pieced the car together. This piece is really unique right here. This is from the throwback car. Um, NASCAR does a throwback scheme every year at Darlington. Uh, so this is from 2016, this piece right here. Uh, this deck lid right here is from Talladega in 2012. This was a special Caterpillar scheme, uh, Cat Trucks, that Caterpillar ran in the fall race in 2012. Um, it, it's, it's really heavy, you can tell that by just feeling the weight of it. When NASCAR goes to a restrictor plate track, the bumpers and usually the sheet metals is a lot more thicker just because of the, the nature of that track, the bumping and banging and everything like that. Uh, this piece is from 2012 also. Jeff Burton was the driver. Uh, he's got his, still got his name up there. Uh, this car was involved in a crash actually with Ryan Newman. Uh, you can go back and look at that on YouTube. So uh, this is right before NASCAR changed the body style, so that's how I ended up and uh, got lucky enough and, and got that roof right there. Um, different pieces. This is one of the older pieces I have. This piece right here is from David Green when he was the driver. You can tell, see it was still the Winston Cup Series. That piece is from 1998, so that's the oldest piece of sheet metal that I have. And then an awesome piece right here was from 2005 when Scott Weber was driving the car. And uh, right towards the end of the race in the Daytona 500, he got in an accident and the car ended up barrel rolling and flipping on its nose. And you can still see the scrapes right here of when the hood scraped against the uh, at, at the track at Daytona there. So that's an awesome piece. Yeah, it's 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 really surreal. You know, I'm just just kind of a normal guy. You know, just have a hobby, and then it, it's awesome to see how everybody has come together and Caterpillar has put this together, and to see all the fans come out and come up and want to talk to me and, and you know tell me about all the stuff that they have too. So it's great to see other fans with the amount of enthusiasm and the support from NASCAR you know, that they have also.